it's 10 a.m. I'm starting my moose spotting adventure while Crip is uh, streaming 24-7. I'm going up to Algonquin and I guess we'll see. I've made it to Algonquin and you see that? The moose better show themselves. They said, look near water. Uh -uh. Nope. That is my campsite. And... This is the lake of two rivers. It's pretty nice. Quiet. And guess what? No moose. I'm just walking around the campsite a little bit just to see how it is. And I'm probably the filthy millennial that can't get rid of the phone. <laughs> Internet is pretty decent. Not for streaming, but pretty decent. So the campsite is packed completely. And it's end of October. And there are so many people with tents, and it's cold. Uh, makes you kind of wonder why they don't leave it open a little bit longer. I'm also happy I have my own toilet, because there was an actual lineup at the toilets. Come on. I have to see moose here. Which moose wouldn't like this? It's like wild here. So I'm up there. And it's like forest and nature everywhere. Bears. Beavers. Just not moose. just woke up. It's 7.30. And I think this is where all the moose are hiding. In the mist over the water. There is a bird though there. Day two, I'm really trying, as you can see, but nothing. It only reinforces my conspiracy theory that moose are in fact not real. <laughs> Am I never going through here? <laughs> I, I don't know why you're so close to me. I don't have anything to feed you. I, I swear these birdies are like stalking me. I should have come with bird food. Seeds or something. I don't know. Next time.
This is a little bit too close <laughs> to the water. Here it's kind of actually flooded. You can see the water. It's kind of scary. That's scarier than heights for me, honestly. Because it's all like dark and muddy and you can't see what lurks below. It is really quiet and wild. So I just waited at the parking lot for someone else. And I'm like casually walking ahead of them. They have a dog too. So hopefully if we see a bear the bear will go for the dog. <laughs> and now they just sat on a bench. God damn it. I'm gonna be eaten by bears. These birds just, just sit on your head. They're trying to eat my ring. What the hell is happening? All right, I saw more birdies. We're trying it again. Uh, I'll, I'll have to come back with food, seriously. back with food. Ah, oh, look! Someone else wants food. Okay. Come here. There. You don't even have to try anymore. Okay, if I don't see real ones, at least I saw taxidermied ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With the moose, sex call, is digging this and peeing in it. Mm. This is the beaver pond trail, but I mean, based on our moose experience, I'm not expecting to see any beavers. And like, I don't know, maybe that's for the best, because I swear, if I see something swimming out of that thing, I will be like, frozen scared the beavers can get a taste of my flesh i'm guessing like these or these there i guess those are beaver dams or at least they look like it It's 
assume that that is a beaver dam. But uh, we're gonna go see it closer. I found a beaver dam. No beavers or moose or anything else. <laughs> um, apparently they build those because it creates favorable conditions for um, their favorite food to grow, which is water lilies. So normally the water would just flow and now it has to flow from here. And I mean, okay, a little bit there too. Kind of cool, right? But where are the beavers? Squirrels are so friendly here. Yeah, we found a nut. This one is like, I don't know, a meter and a half away from me. Like. I don't know if they're curious or... Or people give them food. I don't know. Or they just don't care. Look at this. This is prime moose territory. 3,000 moose in Algonquin. Not one in sight. Where are they? Where the heck are they? This is my campground for the second night, but it just started raining. Uh, maybe, maybe moose like rain better? I got to the second campground uh, yesterday afternoon and it was raining. It started raining just as I got here. But thankfully today I got to walk around a little bit. Oh, yeah. And in this campground there have been many bear sightings. But guess what? Not by me. It is, it is quite wild. This is the end of my moose spotting trip. It was a failure. Not for lack of trying. I probably spent hours trying to locate one. <sighs> Guess next time. <laughs>